Good morning everyone. Good morning sessions. Sessions, let us all be aware of God's presence. Give of light and wisdom, thank you for giving me a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Help me keep learning every day of my life, no matter what the subject may be. Let me be convinced that all knowledge leads to you, and let me know how to find you and love you in all the things you have made. Encourage me when the studies are difficult and when I'm tempted to give up. Enlighten me when my brain is slow and help me to grasp the truth held out to me. Grant me the grace to put my knowledge to in building a better world. Amen. Panatang makabayan, iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, aking lupang sinilangan, tahanan ng aking lahi, kinukukup ako at tinutulungan maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payo ng aking magulang, susundin ko ang tuntunin ng paaralan. Tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng mamamayang makabayan, naglilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Hialay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, pagsisikap sa mansang Pilipinas. Mission We are a private educational institution of choice and a community of professional educators and lifelong learners. In collaboration with our stakeholders, we are committed to provide a caring and stimulating environment that nurtures holistically developed individuals equipped with 21st century skills. Vision. We envision our students to be highly motivated learners with creative and open minds, effective communication skills, adept at responsible use of information, media, and technology, and enabled to navigate life and career paths with confidence, discipline, and integrity. In partnership with parents in the community, we strive towards to the total development of our students that they may reach their fullest potential and become a productive member of society and the service of others. Students Oath Number 1 I will set goals in my life and I will acquire the knowledge and skills necessary in order to achieve them. I will work hard and I will never give up, even difficulties arise. I realize that difficulties are opportunities to better myself through perseverance on my way to success. Number two, as a citizen of the earth, I am a steward of all her bounty and will use her resources with care and responsibility. I will remember that her gifts are to be shared by all, including the generations still to come. Number three, as a youth of my nation, I will be a productive member of society and work to contribute to the development of my country. I will lead through action and involvement in making my country strong and great. Number four, as a member of my family and as a student at South Eastern College, I will give gratitude to my parents and teachers, treat everyone with respect and courtesy, do my task with discipline and diligence, and conduct myself with courage, dignity, and integrity always. I will seek the counsel of my elders when the need arises. 
Number five, I shall always keep myself, my home, my school, and my environment clean and tidy. I will take care of the things entrusted to me and be responsible for their appropriate use, maintenance, and safekeeping. Number six, I will build my character through habits of excellence. I will lead an honest life free from all corruption and adopt a righteous way of life in order that I may contribute to peace and harmony in the world. Number seven, I will be a lifelong learner to keep the lamp of knowledge lit forever. I will work hard to develop and grow in mind, body, and spirit. Number eight, I will do my best in all that I do in order that I may be of service to my family, my community, my country, and my God. At this point, let us all welcome Mr. Reynald Dizon, the class advisor of Great and Victors, for our value focus of the week. Good morning, sessions. How are you feeling today? I hope that everyone is feeling strong today and you still have that fire to keep going and fighting for your goal this school year despite our current situation. Before we start the classes, I want to ask some questions to you. Have you ever experienced failing on something but chose not to give up and try again? Have you ever succeeded or not after trying again? What did you feel after succeeding or failing again? If you chose not to give up, this characteristic shows your grit in achieving your goal. In our previous module, we have discussed about grit, which is the perseverance and passion to achieve long-term goals but for this week, we are going to focus on one aspect of greed, which is persistence. Persistence is the quality that allows someone to continue doing something even though it is difficult or opposed by other people. We sometimes face different challenges, difficulties, and failure in our lives. But persistence helps us find our will to never give up. You will improve when you fail, and you can learn from these experiences and move on. When we don't give up and keep pushing ourselves to achieve our goal or to overcome difficulties in life, remember that this is not something that we do because of external goals, but it is something that we do internally. Some of you may think that you have a good set of talents and skills which you may think is enough for you to be successful and overcome your challenges in life. But persistence is a trait that we need to develop in ourselves so that it will become a key factor for us to be more successful on our endeavors in life. Persistence is related to our personal development and improvement. And without persistence, our ability to grow and develop as a person will be affected and it will limit us to learn new things and it may also restrict the amount of success, wealth, and happiness that we can achieve. Understanding why we want to achieve our goal, planning for our goal and taking actions leading to it, taking care of ourselves, identifying reasons to believe in ourselves, evaluating our habits and actions, improvisation out of our plan, seeking advice from other people, and teaming up with other people are some of the things that we can do to practice and improve our persistence. Sessions, in our life, we will face challenges and difficulties anytime. There is a possibility that something may go wrong on the things that we do and we are planning to do. There will be times where we will feel that everything seems to be working against us. But remember, with all of these setbacks and negativity, if we learn and practice to be persistent, we will be able to see progress in ourselves. We will be able to find new ways to keep going. We will be able to learn to reach out to others. We will be able to move forward in our life, and we will be successful. Before I end, I want you to remember this quote by Carmen del Orefice, and I quote, We're all works of art in progress. End of quote. 
We are never a finished product and we must find the reason for us to persist in life, for us to be able to grow, reach our dreams, and influence other people. Thank you, Sessions, and have a productive day ahead. At this point, let us all welcome Ms. Wyeth Palmero for the launching of the Science Week 2022. Good morning, Sessions. How are you feeling at the moment? The Science Week 2022 is fast approaching, and this year's theme is Science, Technology, and Society, stepping up with the challenges of the pandemic through collective efforts as one community, which highlights the integral role of scientific inquiry and the various applications of technology to address the challenges of the pandemic era. The different activities will enable us to utilize scientific knowledge and skills to solve problems and create sustainable and meaningful products to gear up the society in midst of crisis and difficult situations. Moreover, this will serve as an opportunity to enhance your problem solving and critical thinking skills, strengthen your potential and comprehensive planning and research, and foster scientific, technological, and environmental literacy. Lastly, this event will help you instill the value of collective efforts and collaboration in creating, publishing, and sharing well-thought outputs and products. The first activity for the Science Week 2022 is entitled Sustainability Made Simple, which involves students from kinder to grade three level. Specifically, it aims to first engage students with creating meaningful products out of local and recyclable and reusable materials. Second, assess students' knowledge and skills on waste management and sustainability. Third one, integrate environmental responsibility and sustainability in creating meaningful products. And fourth one, build confidence and collaboration among teachers, parents, and students. Kinder Level will create a DIY pencil cases using plastic bottles. Grade 1 Level will create decorative materials using recycled papers. Grade 2 Level will come up with DIY picture frames using plastic wrappers. And Grade 3 Level will create home decorations out of plastic bottles. The next activity is the Fun Family Science Scientific Inquiry at Home, which provides an opportunity for students to conduct home-based scientific investigations. This is together with their family members. This will be participated by the students from the intermediate level, wherein they will be asked to produce a three four minute scientific investigation video. The specific objectives of the activity are the following. First one, enhance and demonstrate scientific inquiry through observing, inferring, analyzing data and results, and generating conclusions. Second, integrate science concepts and applications in discussing various phenomena. Third, explore science together with your family in a meaningful and enjoyable way. The third activity is the Virtual Science Exhibit 2022, which will be participated by the junior high school and grade 11 level. For this science exhibit, students are expected to maximize digital platforms to come up with substantial four to five minute video explainer which encapsulates the utilization of science and technology in addressing the challenges brought by the pandemic. 
Specifically, this activity aims to strengthen students' skills in comprehensive planning through brainstorming and researching, improve students' problem-solving skill and critical thinking skill, and developing a comprehensive research-based explainer video, and instill the value of scientific literacy among students in promoting awareness and providing solutions to various issues or topics. The fourth activity will be poster making contests, which will be participated by students from grade 7 to grade 12 level. It will enable students to create well thought out handmade poster which translates the role of science and technology in gearing the society in the midst of the pandemic. Integrate research, critical thinking, and creativity in depicting the issues and challenges of the pandemic, and develop collaboration and camaraderie among students by sharing their ideas as they come up with their posters. The elimination round will happen on March 30 and March 31, 2022, at 8.30 to 10.30 a.m. via Zoom. Grade 7, 8, and 10 will compete on the first day, while grade 9, 11, and 12 will compete on day 2. The last activity is the capstone research for oral presentation to be participated by the grade 12 STEM students. This activity will serve as an opportunity for the presentation of research topics which concerns the science, mathematics, and engineering fields. More specifically, it aims to provide an avenue for the students to present their research papers and seek more solutions to the current challenges faced by the society. Other details about the set of activities have been discussed by your respective science teachers, which include the specific guidelines and mechanics, criteria for the selection of winners, and schedule of activities. We are hoping for your full cooperation and participation for us to develop self-confidence and collaboration. Remember sessions, whether big or small app, as we work together as one community, we can always step up amidst the challenges and crisis to create a stronger and a resilient world to live in. Again, good morning and thank you. sessions, let us all prepare ourselves for the moment of mindfulness. We will use this to strengthen our focus and concentration. 
sessions, close your eyes and calm your minds. Don't think of anything else and just focus your attention on your breathing as you inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Continue focusing your attention on your breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good morning sessions. May we all have a productive day ahead. Thank you.